I'm Dr. Amir Batrikello, Medical Eye Care Advisor for Light for the World and Co-Chair for IPB Eastern Africa. I have with me Mr. Raja Shekhar, who is Assistant Director and Administrative Head of Village Vision Complex at LV Prasad Eye Institute, Hyderabad, India. Mr. Raj Shekhar has been nominated by LV Prasad Eye Institute as his Eye Health Hero at the IPB 9 General Assembly. I would like to congratulate Mr. Raj Shekhar Thank you, sir. for uh, upon being nominated one of the Eye Health Heroes. And would you please tell us about your work, what you did, and what you are, what you are doing now? Yeah, uh, as you said, I'm the administrator head and operation head of entire uh, village vision complex of LV Prasad Eye Institute. Uh, my major responsibility is to take de to uh, oversee the day-to-day uh, -day operations of all our secondary and primary eye care network. Yeah. Village vision complex means a, a, a secondary center with a set of ten primary centers. It's called a village vision complex. As on date, we have ten uh, secondary centers and eighty-nine primary eye care centers. My responsibility is to take to see oversee day-to-day -day of this administrative response of these centers, plus also to uh, help other partners in developing their capacities or replicating our model in their in their in their, in their regions actually yeah so achieving this uh, is definitely a gradual process yeah yeah how did it start would you please tell us yeah just i f i finished my college msw in my college in 1994 then i was recruited by lv prasad as administrative fellow uh, at that time they were given hands on one year fellowship is a rigorous training at Hyderabad uh, one year fellowship rotating each and department in Heli Prasad and posted me in a uh, first rural program of Heli Prasad Institute at Mudul, north of Andhra Pradesh. I worked for three years there, then I promoted to Hyderabad. From then, my major responsibility to develop to replicate that model in all wherever that requirement. Till now, we develop around 10 our own centers, then other partners in Andhra Pradesh. Apart from that, we do a lot of work with Operation Eyesight, CBM. And all these projects also we are doing. Yeah. Can you tell me uh, who uh, who works at the vision center? Yeah. Uh, what is the staff structure there? Yeah. And what is their primary activity? Yeah, yeah. At the vision center level, it is managed by a vision technician, a 10 plus 2 pass graduate, a, s a high school student. We bring them, uh, recruit them, and bring them to a uh, school of optometry in Hyderabad. A one-year rigorous training is provided for them. The first six months will be the theoretical sessions will be there in the school, and six next six months will be the practical hands-on training will be provided. The basic thing they do three R's as you um, can see that they recognize, refract, and refer. These three R's are do at we you know, at the primary level, at the vision center level. We have for every 50,000 population we have vision centers. Our vision centers are located where there is no absolutely no eye care in that region. If there is an ophthalmologist, we don't establish the center there. Where there is nothing is there, then only we establish the vision centers. And we recruit the people from that community itself, and we train them and post them there. Then further, that vision technician, if he works for at least three years with us, then we have a career advancement for them. They can enroll from the diploma or graduate program. They complete the, their diploma or graduate, then they come back and work at a secondary center or a tertiary center of Hyderabad. So if a normal course, if, a, if you want to do an optometry, it will need four years to complete the course. Through this program, it may need seven to eight years to complete that program. So this is the program. So because in a rural areas, getting a technician, optometry is very difficult. With this innovation, you have said, or, or this program, a lot of now, eyes are now 89 pro centers we are operating. Mm -hmm. And we are also helping other partners in India and also other, other countries. I think the major challenge in most developing countries, uh, like in Southeast Asia, but also in Sub-Saharan Africa, is uh, making eye care accessible yeah. to remote underserved areas. And uh, how would your system of setting up vision centers and linking them to secondary eye care unit yeah. could contribute towards uh, achieving uh, the goal of eliminating avoidable blindness by the year 2020. Yeah, if you see our model, it will be the permanent infrastructure model. Like if you see earlier days, the mostly of the majority of the population dependent on eye camps. When they have used to have eye camps, fixed camps, monthly once or twice fixed camps and used to depend on. In our model, a permanent setup at their doorstep is open morning 9 to 6, 6 days a week. Anytime they can walk into that center and have high screen there. Then link to a secondary center 
for all medical and surgical intervention, they can come to the secondary level. They can have 75% of the problems are can tackle at the VVC level, secondary and primary. Yeah. Only 25% of them need, need, need to come to the higher level at Hyderabad or a state level hospital, a regional hospital. Yeah. With having a permanent facility at their doorstep may provide the solution for the lot of the blinding issues. Yeah, that's really a great thing, and I'm l actually also looking forward to visit the, one of the vision centers uh, tomorrow. Yeah, definitely. And yeah. To learn from your experience yeah. and uh, to look into uh, areas uh, that could be also replicated in other setups. Yeah. Um, I think like LV Prasad has been uh, one of the leading s institutes when it comes to providing eye care services of highest quality, not only at the tertiary care yeah. level but also a secondary and primary one. Yeah. Do you think this model is replicable? It definitely is replicable, because if you see LV Prasad, he started a top-down model. We started in 1986 as a center of excellence yeah. at Hyderabad, then moved down to the community. So we have a strong base at top. We want to take that same quality to the remote rural area, actually. With that intention, so all the staff or everybody are trained here, then only they are posted here. In our network, wherever, in a partner network, wherever, we have a strong the discipline, culture, every, that three months to one year, everybody spend time at Hyderabad, then they are posted at their yeah. setup. So that uh, can be replicated. Yeah. So what do you think are the major challenges for uh, Vision 2020 in the coming years? The biggest challenge with my 15, last 15, 16 experience, I feel the HR is the biggest challenge. If you see like off the, in, uh, t technical or non, even non-clinical also, Working in a remote rural area is still a difficult, biggest challenge. Yeah. So for that, we have a innovative like career advancement for each level, like for vision technician. So I said to retain okay, staff, to retain the staff, you have to develop some develop incentives. Some, 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 we have a career advancement. We don't have yeah, incentive exactly. program, but like, this also an incentive. Yeah, 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 Career advancement yeah. that is also you can yeah. incentive. Yeah. That is the only way we can we are exactly. working. Because because money is not a problem. We are yeah. initially the model is developed with the tribe partnership. Their INGO involvement is there, local community is there, and LV Prasad is there. Yeah. For the 15 years now, what we are seeing local, now INGOs are not there. Local industry itself coming forward and want to spend money and give the entire infrastructure, they want to run us. Yeah. So with, that is happening now. That's really great. Yeah. I mean, uh, we have been attending uh, really one of the excellent IPV Journal uh, Assembly meetings here in Hyderabad, India. Yeah. And uh, what are you taking back from this uh, General Assembly meeting? Uh, this was a, I, this is my second meeting I attended IAP. Last year I attended at Argentina, Buenos Aires. Yes, this is a, there is so many people. At that time I think around 600, 1500 plus. Yeah. Lot of opportunity to meet, lot of people. Uh, learn many programs, attended few good courses, which are never, we are doing in that. But uh, in a different, in a, uh, top most people came and have a lecture like in SAP, uh, sustainability analysis processing and some innovative programs like they are doing in their own way we can learn from that apart from that now everybody is talking linkage with the health care primary eye care and primary health care yeah. that also we just started there a lot uh, from, the, yeah. from that well thank you very much uh, indeed for sharing your uh, views and your experience uh, of work and I would like to congratulate you again thank upon you. being nominated eye health Hero at the IPB 9 General Assembly. That is my privilege, actually. Thank you. Thank you very much.